So are you using a traditional gravity feed airbrush, but you want something where there's no cup in the way and it doesn't block your line of sight? Well then the Awada HP SB Plus may be the answer. Let's take a look at it right now. So this is the Awada HP SBP Plus from the High Performance Plus series. You can see this is a side feed airbrush. It has a 0.05 ounce or 1.50 mil color cup and it sits within the fine and medium range. So this is a side feed dual action airbrush, total control for fine detail spraying, H2 head system, 15 to 25 PSI optimal working pressure, quick flush cutaway preset handle. Let's go ahead and take it out of the sleeve. Open up the box. We have the Awada sticker, the side feed airbrush quick start guide. So you may want to read this if you've never used a side feed airbrush. The spray pattern, this is done before any of the airbrushes ship from the Awada factory. Tube of lube, the Awada wrench. Here's your side feed color cup. One thing to note, when cleaning, you can unscrew the bottom. You can see it's got that little seal, but it makes it easier to keep it clean. Just pull that off every now and then. And the airbrush itself, as you'd expect, nice and smooth. You've got this little lug here as well, which you can just pop out and switch to the other side. And this is whether or not you're left or right handed. So if you're left handed, you would most likely fit it on this side. Whereas for me, I'm right handed, so I'll switch that over. And it just pushes in and so does the lug. And that's it. The airbrush is all ready and set up. And this side feed airbrush runs a 0.2 mil needle nozzle setup. So nice and fine. I'm just gonna add some pre-mixed paint into the color cup. Gonna go ahead and remove the air cap. Just be careful if you do this that you don't drop your airbrush. From a distance, get a bit of dusting on there. Pulling back a bit further. So you can see this atomizer is really fine really consistent lines. If you want to go finer, move up close and pull back a little bit and then move a bit quicker through your stroke. Now this is straight out of the box. So I do like to wear in my airbrushes a little bit. And this one has an optimal working pressure of 15 to 25 PSI and I'm running at about 20 PSI at the moment. No issue with fine detail at all. Very responsive brush. Getting a bit of tip drying now. Now when using a side feed or any brush that has a color cup without a lid, you need to be careful not to tip it when you're painting. The beauty of this cup is that you can tilt it. So if you wanna work down on your surface, you just tilt it like so, and you can work down without the risk of spilling it. Generally, you're only putting drops of paint in this cup anyway, so it's less likely that you're gonna tip it out but just keep that in mind. I've got a few side feed brushes and I've never done it myself. You do get used to it, but it's definitely a very, very smooth option if you are looking for a side feed brush. And even though it can do the detailed work, you could also use it for larger applications. So all in all, this airbrush performs really well. Perfect if you need another airbrush for detailing work and you don't have a side feed brush, then I highly recommend it. With that 0.2 mil needle nozzle setup, you'll be able to get really fine detail 